Hi there, boys and girls. I hope you've been having a fun day and finding some fun things to do inside. I've been thinking a little bit today about transportation. Do you know what transportation means? Well, transportation is the way you get from one place to another. The things you might use to get from one place to another. So you might use a car if you're going somewhere or a truck. What other things might you use if you're going from one place to another? An airplane, an airplane is a good way to get from one place to another if it's far away. A boat might be a way to get from one place to another or a train. Your bicycle might be one place to, a way to get from one place to another. Those are all different forms of transportation. Well, I found a book today that reminded me of transportation. It's called The Berenstein Bears and the Big Road Race and it's by Stan and Jan Berenstein. So what kind of transportation do you think that they're using for their race? That's right, cars. They're kind of like race cars. Let's see what happens. On the first page it says, Can Little Red keep up the pace? Can the slowest car win the race? So let's see. What do you think? Do you think the slowest car could win? We'll have to wait and see. Four big cars, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Rrr, said orange, long and low. Vroom, said yellow, ready to go. Grrr, said green, big and mean. Roar, roar, the blue car said. Wait, there's one more car. It was little red. Put, 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 said Little Red. Okay, so there, here we have four big cars right on the starting line and one little car. It looks like they're even pushing it. It looks like the, the mama, dad, and, and sister bear are pushing brother bear up to the starting line. Do you think his car's pretty fast? Let's see. The starters flag waved, and off they sped. Roar, grr, vroom, roar. When the dust had cleared, there was Red. Put, 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 cough, said Little Red. So the four bigger cars took off at the starting line, and their engines put all the smoke out, and there's Little Red putting through the smoke. <laughs> Over, under, around, and through went orange, yellow, green, and blue. So orange went up over the hill. Yellow came under the bridge. Green went around the curve. And blue went through the tunnel. You know, I think I heard some rhyming words on this page. Let's listen and see if we hear any more. Up and down and all around, through the town and country scene, went yellow, orange, blue, and green. Yes, scene and green are rhyming words. Those other drivers laughed at Red. Ha, 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 they all said. That's, that red's a joke. He's nothing but an old slow poke. What said red? He didn't say grr or vroom or roar. Little red said what he said before. Put, 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 put. There goes yellow taking the lead. Green is second, putting on speed. Orange and blue catching up fast. But where was red? He was last. Oh, poor red. So you can see the, the bigger cars are way up around the curve. And here comes little red. I cannot lose, shouted yellow. 
a very boastful sort of fellow. A first place finish is my goal, but he was so busy bragging, he did not see a big pothole. Oh no, so here he is, he's bragging, he's gonna win, but he's not paying attention that there's a pothole right there. It's a hole in the road. So look what happened. Clonk, his car went in, right in the hole. Ha, ah, said the others roaring past. Where was Red? Still behind, but no longer last. So looky there, so he's past the yellow car now. So he's not last, yellow's last at this point. Who will win the big road race? Can these cars keep up the pace? Up ahead, scary curve. I won't slow down for scary curve. Orange driver was all nerve. So they put a sign that this is a scary curve. You're supposed to slow down for when you see that sign. But he said, I'm not going to slow down. I'll be okay. Uh-oh. All nerve, but not much sense. Orange went right through the fence. So there he was on that curve. And that's, look, the fence broke. His car went down and landed in the lake. It's a two-car race, Green's driver said forgetting all about Little Red. Putt, 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 said Little Red. So Green thinks it's a two-car race. He's just counting green and blue. He's not counting red. It's really a three-car race still. But he's so far back, Green's not even counting him. The driver of Green was pretty mean. He reached into the glove compartment it was time for the dirty tricks department. It wasn't a very nice thing to do, but that was that. The blue car's tires all went flat. So that was not very nice. Look, green dumped stuff out on the road so that when blue drove over it, his tires would go flat. That's not very nice at all. I've got it won, Green's driver said. The finish line is just ahead. So you can see the finish line right up here and with all of the families that are watching the race, he is very close. As he said it, a fast food store came into sight. Hmm, said Green, racing gives me an appetite. So do you know what an appetite is? That means he's feeling a little hungry. And there's a little stand right here that sells snacks. Uh, I have beaten orange, yellow, and blue. As for red, he's nowhere in view. There's plenty of time for a little snack. A burger and fries, please, in a sack. So he got out of his car and went up to get a snack. But Red never quit. He just kept coming. His putt-putt motor kept right on humming. And while Green waited for his stuff, Red putted right past the fast food store. And the fast food store wasn't fast enough. So, while Green's driver's thinking, I'll get a fast snack, it wasn't fast enough because... Little Red came up and passed him. Look, look, it's Little Red. Hooray, hooray, the bears all said. The road race winner is Little Red. So there, look, he, there, that's the finish line, that white line right there, and he crossed it first. And back here, what do you see? Green got his snack and he's running back to his car. <laughs> putt, 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 said Little Red. <laughs> well, that's a silly book, isn't it? But it's fun. I'm glad that Little Red got to win. He played nice. He didn't do anything to damage the other, the other cars in the race. He started out last, but he ended up first because he paid attention and 
and he just kept going. Even if he was going slow, he just kept right on going. Well, I don't know if you have any cars or other transportation things at your house. I have some stuff at my house. I have some little cars, and I have some bigger cars. I even have an airplane, and I thought it might be fun to play with some of these toys at my house while I'm thinking about transportation. And you might have some too, and you could use things that you have around the house to do some of the things like we heard about in our story. I have this empty roll that could be like a tunnel, so it could go through the tunnel. We could have it, um, our cars, you could use a pillow or something, and you can pretend like your car is going up a hill. Or it could go down a hill. You could have your airplane fly over a cloud. Or your airplane could fly under a cloud. <laughs> There's all kinds of fun things. Use your imagination, and you can just use things you have around your house to have lots of fun while you're thinking about transportation. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will look forward to seeing you back on Friday. Bye-bye.